Cody Glenn, all the way from Rust, Texas, to the University of Nebraska, to the Redskins, to the Colts, and now you're at Super Bowl 44. Wow, what a wild, strange trip it's been for you. Yes, it has. It's been a journey. It's been a long journey. It's been up and downs, but hey, we're at the Super Bowl. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more. When you signed on with the Colts, did you imagine anything that, that it could have been anything like this for you? I didn't. I knew the Colts was a, was a really good team, a really great organization, but I didn't think we would get to the Super Bowl this fast. Are you uh, now kind of spoiled in the fact that you're playing on a team that gets to go deep into the playoffs and get to the Super Bowl? You're kind of spoiled and they're going to expect that every year? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you get spoiled, go to the Super Bowl your first year. I mean, you're going to be expecting that to go to Super, Super Bowl every year. So if you don't, it's going to be a disappointment, even though we might go to the playoffs and win a couple of games through that. So. Speaking of disappointments, you were drafted by the Redskins in the fifth round, but they let you go. You hook on with the Colts. What did you learn from that experience, and do you feel like you're a better player because of it? Yeah, just that... Uh, this game has has a lot of had a lot of things that goes goes with it besides football, and I think me being released from there was like the, the best thing that happened to me. And uh, being picked up here with the coast was the was the best thing that happened to me also. Now you went to Nebraska as a running back. You played three years as a running back. Switched to linebacker, uh, and now we're playing linebacker special teams with the Colts. Do you feel like you're still kind of learning the position a little bit? Yeah, I mean, a lot of guys, most of the linebackers we got, they've been playing it since they started school. Like in me, I played running back all my life, so I'm still learning, learning every day. I'm lucky we got a couple of veteran guys and uh, Gary Brackett and Freddie Kiaho who I'm still learning from, and uh, so it's just it's a, it's a process. I mean, it's gonna be a, a long a long journey, but I'm really gonna go through it. Being uh, from Rust, Texas, playing for the Eagles, how uh, how much do you feel like because of East Texas football was such a big deal? How much do you feel like it, it prepared you for the next level in college and, and now getting to the NFL? Just because East Texas football, I mean, week in and week out, it's so competitive. So at an early age, it teaches you to be uh, very competitive and to have a love and a passion for what you're doing. So once you get to these different stages and you face different obstacles or challenges like that, your competitive nature is going to take over no matter what, and you're going to be able to rise above any challenge that's pit, pit in front of you. How much do you talk to your old coaches? How much credit do you give them for helping you get to this level? I give them, I give them all the credit. I talk to them quite a bit. Uh, I talk to Coach Tucker on a regular basis, Coach to Coach Mahaffey. Uh, quite often, so I mean, I mean, them guys is uh, the the guys who kind of put me where I'm in a position to do the things that I'm able to do now. Thinking back on your days playing football for the Eagles, do you could you have ever imagined your wildest dreams to be here today at the Super Bowl? I, not really. I mean, as a kid, I mean, if you go to any uh, any high school, every kid say I want to play in the NFL, but most most of them don't. And they ever, just to be able to have the opportunity to play in the NFL is a blessing in itself. But then be able to play in the Super Bowl your rookie year, I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> all right, you're at media day today. This is crazy. Look at all these people. Everybody wants to talk to you. Every, I mean, everybody is surrounded by media people. What's it like for a player? I, it's, it's great. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun time. You can have a good time. I mean, you can make it what it is. I mean, it's crazy. It's hectic. I mean, there's so many people out here, and you're just kind of walking. People grabbing you here, grabbing you there. So, I mean... I, could, I never imagined it was going to be like this, so it's, it's crazy. You're playing a lot of special teams now. Do you feel like kind of that's your niche right now to any way you can get on the field and help the team? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's my thing right now for this year. I mean, special teams, that's where I make my plays at and uh, trying to make some big plays. And, I mean, usually it, when I can not make a big play, it sparks the defense or the offense or something like that. So, really, that's kind of my role, and that's, that's the great thing about this team. Everybody knows their role, knows what they bring to the table, knows what they need to do. All right, Cody, one last thing. You want to give a message to the folks back in East Texas? Yeah, I just want to say thanks, everybody, back in East Texas for the support, especially Russ, Texas, all my friends, all my families down there. Thanks for the support, and we're going to bring the ring back down to East Texas.